Once upon a time, in a cozy village named Spring Valley, there lived a young adventurer named Alex. One sunny day, while cleaning their old family house's attic, Alex discovered an ancient-looking map. It was like a treasure map with its yellowish color and detailed drawings. Curiosity got the best of Alex, and he unrolled the map carefully. It showed a path leading into a dense forest known as the Forbidden Forest. The village folks always talked about this forest, saying it was enchanted and filled with mysterious secrets from long ago. Some even said that people who went in never came back. As the day turned to evening, Alex couldn't stop thinking about the exciting adventure that awaited him. Sitting by the cozy fireplace, with the warm, crackling sound of burning logs, Alex held the map in his hands. The idea of a hidden adventure right in their village was too tempting to ignore, determined to uncover the forest's secrets. Alex decided that he would go on a brave journey into the heart of the Forbidden Forest. He knew that people warned against it, but the possibility of finding something amazing was too thrilling to resist. The next morning, as the sun rose, Alex prepared for the adventure. He packed some water, bread, and a map of the local area in a bag. Just as he was about to leave, an old man called out to him from the doorway. The old man, named Elias, was known to be wise but lived a bit far from the village. He had a mysterious aura about him, and some said he had once explored the edges of the Forbidden Forest. Elias noticed the map in Alex's hands and asked about his plans. After sharing his discovery and his desire to explore the forest, Alex listened carefully to Elias's advice. He warned him about the dangers of the forest and gave him a small pouch of dried herbs for protection. With a mix of excitement and nervousness, Alex thanked Elias and set off on their adventure to uncover the secrets of the Forbidden Forest. As they walked, the tall trees of the forest seemed to welcome them, their branches reaching towards the sky. The journey had just begun, and Alex's heart raced with anticipation unaware of the magical and sometimes scary experience that awaited them in the depths of the Forbidden Forest. Just as he was about to enter the outskirts of the village, a mysterious figure emerged from behind a tree. It was an old man with a long, white beard, and his eyes sparkled like stars in the night sky. It was none other than Elias, the village's wise and mysterious elder. Off on an adventure, are we? Elias asked with a knowing smile. The Forbidden Forest is a place of magic and secrets, young one. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Excited to have Elias join him, Alex eagerly nodded and shared their determination to discover the mysteries hidden within the forest. Elias agreed to accompany him for a part of the journey, sharing his knowledge and guidance. As they ventured deeper into the forest, Elias told Alex enchanting tales about its wonders and warned him about its treacherous parts. The forest seemed to come alive with every story he shared, stories of talking animals, ancient spirits, and magical glades. Keep your ears open and your heart brave, Elias said with a twinkle in his eye. For the forest speaks in its own way, and those who listen might find what they seek. Along the path, they encountered colorful butterflies that fluttered around them, as if guiding their way. The sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting dappled patterns on the forest floor. Every step felt like a step into a magical realm. Eventually, they reached a crossroad where Elias had to bid farewell. From here on, the forest will lead you to its heart, Elias said warmly. Trust in yourself and your instincts, young man. And remember, the forest is full of surprises. He handed Alex a small lantern to light their way when darkness fell. This will guide you through the night, he said. But always keep your heart as your true guide. With heartfelt gratitude, Alex said goodbye to Elias and watched him disappear into the forest. Feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness, he continued his journey alone. As dusk approached, the forest started to change. Shadows danced between the trees, and mysterious sounds echoed in the distance. But Alex felt a newfound courage, knowing that Elias' advice and stories would guide them. With the lantern lighting his path, he found a cozy spot under a big tree to rest. The forest felt peaceful and Alex felt brave, knowing that Elias' advice would help him on his journey. As he looked up at the stars, Alex couldn't wait to discover more of the magical secrets that the Forbidden Forest held. With Elias' stories in his heart, he drifted off to sleep. The next morning, Alex continued his journey into the Forbidden Forest. 
He couldn't help but notice something strange and magical about the place. The air felt different here, filled with the sweet scent of flowers and the earthy fragrance of moss-covered trees. The forest seemed alive with twinkling fireflies, dancing in the shadows, as if to welcome Alex deeper into its heart. As he walked along the winding path, the trees swayed gently, as if whispering secrets to one another. Alex could almost hear the soft murmur of their conversations. Curious creatures popped out from behind bushes, peeking at Alex with big, curious eyes. There were mischievous squirrels, hopping from branch to branch, and colorful birds chirping melodious tunes. It was like being in a magical wonderland, but amidst the beauty a strange feeling tugged at Alex's heart. There was something mysterious lurking beneath the enchanting exterior of the forest. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the shadows grew longer and the forest seemed to take on a new aura. Alex noticed a peculiar tree, unlike any he had seen before. Its bark appeared to have intricate carvings, telling ancient stories of forgotten times. Mesmerized, Alex reached out to touch the tree, and as their fingers grazed the rough surface, a soft hum filled the air. As Alex wandered, he came across a group of majestic trees standing tall and proud. These were the whispering trees that Elias had mentioned. The trees had faces carved into their trunks, and their branches reached out like welcoming arms. As Alex approached, the whispering trees seemed to come alive. A soft rustling sound filled the air, and it was as if they were communicating with each other in hushed voices. Alex listened intently, trying to understand the secrets they shared. With a sense of wonder, Alex spoke to the trees, asking if they knew about the forest's hidden secret. In response, the trees swayed gently, their whispers growing more urgent and mysterious. Suddenly a gust of wind swept through the forest, and the whispering trees seemed to be warning Alex of something lurking nearby. Startled, Alex turned around and saw a pair of glowing eyes in the shadows. Out from behind the trees emerged a mystical creature, part human and part beast. It was the guardian of the whispering trees, a mystical being tasked with protecting the forest's secrets. The creature's eyes glowed with an intense brilliance, and its presence was both mesmerizing and intimidating. You dare to seek the forest's secret, the guardian's voice echoed through the woods. Only those who prove themselves worthy may pass. Alex's heart raced, unsure of what to do. He knew they had to prove his worth to continue his quest. Drawing on the stories Elias had shared, Alex reached into his bag and took out the dried herbs he had given him. With a deep breath, Alex held out the herbs, and the guardian's eyes softened. It seemed the herbs were a sign of respect for the forest and its protectors. The creature nodded approvingly, and the tension in the air eased. Encouraged, Alex asked the guardian if they could learn the forest's secret. The creature smiled enigmatically and replied, You must prove your courage and humility. Pass the three trials, and the forest's secret shall be revealed. The first trial was the trial of courage. Alex had to confront his deepest fear, which materialized as a shadowy figure. Summoning his bravery, Alex faced the fear head-on, realizing that it was just an illusion created by the forest's magic. The second trial, the trial of wisdom, tested Alex's problem-solving skills. He had to solve a series of riddles presented by the Guardian, each one more challenging than the last. With determination and clever thinking, Alex successfully answered the riddles, earning the Guardian's respect. The final trial was the trial of compassion. Alex encountered a lost and frightened creature within the forest. Instead of seeing it as a threat, Alex approached with kindness, offering food and comfort. The creature's fear melted away, and it revealed a hidden path deeper into the forest. Having passed all three trials, the guardian smiled warmly at Alex. You have proven yourself worthy, it said. The forest's secret awaits you. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. With gratitude in his heart, Alex continued his journey, following the path shown to him by the creature. As he walked deeper into the forest, he couldn't help but wonder what extraordinary secret awaited him. Little did Alex know that the forest's secret was far more significant than he could have ever imagined. The adventure was about to take a thrilling twist that would challenge their understanding of the world and their place within it.
As Alex ventured deeper into the heart of the forbidden forest, the trees around him seemed to grow taller and closer together, creating a feeling of being engulfed in a living maze. Yet, they pressed on with a mix of excitement and determination to uncover the forest's mysterious secret. Suddenly, a faint glow caught his eye, drawing him toward a clearing. There, on an ancient stone pedestal, rested a dazzling crystal emitting a mesmerizing light. It was unlike anything Alex had ever seen before, a true wonder of the forest. But before he could reach out to touch it, a chilling voice echoed through the clearing. Halt! Who dares disturb the sacred crystal? The ground rumbled, and a fearsome creature emerged from the shadows, with eyes that glowed like fiery embers. It was the guardian of the crystal, known as the Watcher of Light. Towering above Alex, the creature's presence was both awe-inspiring and intimidating. He knew he had to be cautious and show his worthiness to face this powerful guardian. Summoning his courage, Alex explained his quest to discover the forest's secret, hoping to gain the guardian's trust. The Watcher, however, was not easily convinced and challenged Alex to prove their worth. To prove you are worthy, you must face the challenge of the luminous labyrinth, the Watcher said. Only those who can navigate through its illusions and find the true path may possess the crystal's power. With a determined nod, Alex entered the mysterious maze. The path ahead seemed to shift and twist with every step, and the Watcher's watchful eyes followed their every move. As he ventured deeper into the labyrinth, Alex encountered illusions that tested his resolve. Shadows danced on the walls, forming eerie shapes that tried to lead his astray. Yet Alex recalled stories of cleverness and bravery, determined to overcome the maze's tricks. One illusion showed a reflection of his deepest fears, a reminder of their doubts and insecurities. But Alex bravely faced the illusion, knowing that fear could be conquered with strength of heart. With each turn, the labyrinth seemed to grow more perplexing with mirrors and lights creating confusing paths. It was a true test of wits and determination. At last, after what felt like an eternity, Alex reached the center of the labyrinth. There, amidst an array of shimmering crystals, he spotted the true crystal, and radiating with an intense light that seemed to speak of ancient wisdom. The watcher's fiery eyes softened with approval. You have passed the trial it acknowledged. You have proven your courage and wisdom, and now the crystal's power is yours to wield. Grateful for the Watcher's acknowledgement, Alex gently picked up the crystal, feeling its energy course through his veins. It was a moment of triumph, knowing he had earned the right to possess the forest's magical secret. Yet, as he held the crystal, a sense of responsibility weighed upon him. He understood the power it held, and vowed to use it for the good of the forest and all its creatures. With newfound confidence, Alex continued his journey through the forbidden forest, the glowing crystal in hand. Little did he know that even greater adventures and challenges awaited him, as the forest had many more secrets to reveal. He continued his journey through the forbidden forest, following a path that seemed to shimmer with an ethereal glow, guided by the crystal's magic. As he walked deeper into the forest, strange symbols and markings appeared on the trees, as if the forest itself was trying to communicate with him. Alex noticed that the trees with glowing symbols led the way, pointing toward an ancient-looking structure hidden among the foliage. With curiosity, Alex followed the trail and soon, he stood before an ancient stone temple covered in moss and vines. The temple seemed to hold a secret of its own and the crystal pulsed with an even stronger light, as if reacting to the ancient energies within. Summoning his courage, Alex entered the temple, and a soft, mysterious voice echoed through the chambers. Welcome, seeker of truth. The forest's secret lies within, but to uncover it, you must prove your worth. Inside the temple he encountered a series of puzzling trials. Each room held a unique challenge, testing different aspects of his abilities and character. In the first room, he faced a riddle-speaking owl perched high on a pedestal. The owl posed a perplexing question. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Remembering the stories told by Elias, Alex smiled and answered, An echo. 
The owl's eyes gleamed with approval, and a hidden door creaked open, leading him to the next trial. In the second room, the floor was covered in a shifting pattern of glowing tiles. Alex had to step on the tiles in a particular sequence to unlock the next door. It was like a magical dance, and he moved carefully, matching the pattern shown by the glowing symbols. With each successful step, the room seemed to come alive with music, and the tiles glowed brighter. Finally, he completed the pattern, and the door swung open to reveal the next challenge. In the third room, a mirror adorned one wall, reflecting Alex's image back at him. But as he approached, his reflection moved independently, revealing a mirror image version of himself. He had to mimic his mirror self's movements perfectly to move forward. It was like a magical game of copying, and each step had to be precise. After a few attempts, he managed to mirror his reflection's movements flawlessly, and the final door opened before him. The last room was the most enigmatic of all. It held an ancient pedestal with a perfectly fitted slot for the glowing crystal. But as Alex placed the crystal on the pedestal, a low rumbling filled the room. The temple seemed to awaken, its walls adorned with moving carvings that depicted the history of the forest. In awe, Alex realized that the crystal was a key, unlocking the temple's secrets. The glowing symbols on the walls shimmered, revealing an ancient tale of a long-lost civilization that revered the forest as a guardian of life and wisdom. The crystal pulsed with power, illuminating the room and casting dancing shadows on the carvings. As he watched the story unfold, a hidden chamber within the temple opened, revealing an ancient artifact at its core. The artifact glowed with a mesmerizing light, and the temple seemed to resonate with a hum of recognition. It was clear that the artifact was the heart of the forest's secret, and it held the power to protect and heal the land. With great care, Alex approached the artifact. Its magic was palpable, and he could sense the responsibility it carried. He understood that the forest's secret was not just about power, but about preserving the balance of nature and using magic for the greater good. With the artifact in hand, Alex felt a profound connection to the forest and its ancient guardians. He knew that his journey was not just about unraveling the mystery, but about embracing the role of a protector of the forest's magic and wisdom. As Alex held the artifact in his hands, a wondrous transformation occurred. The artifact shimmered and glowed, slowly taking the form of a beautiful young girl with an ethereal aura. She introduced herself as Alicia, the spirit of the forbidden forest brought to life by the ancient magic of the artifact. Over time, Alex and Alicia's bond grew stronger, and they discovered a deep and profound connection with each other. Their friendship blossomed into a love that transcended the boundaries of the ordinary. In the presence of the magical forest, surrounded by the beauty of nature, Alex and Alicia decided to unite their destinies. They were married under the ancient trees, with the whispering trees as their witnesses and the fireflies illuminating the night. Together, they became the revered king and queen of the magical forest, ruling with compassion and wisdom. The forest flourished under their care, and its enchantment spread far beyond its borders. As the benevolent king and queen of the magical forest, Alex and Alicia dedicated themselves to helping those in need. Their love for the land and its enchanting wonders inspired them to share the forest's magic with others. One day, Word reached the kingdom of a neighboring village plagued by a mysterious illness. The villagers sought help, desperate for a remedy to ease their suffering. With hearts full of compassion, Alex and Alicia set forth to the village, guided by the wisdom of the whispering trees. They carried with them baskets of medicinal leaves, gathered with care from the sacred trees of the forbidden forest. Upon their arrival, the villagers greeted them with hope in their eyes. They had heard tales of the magical forest and the legendary king and queen who ruled over its wonders. Alex and Alicia listened attentively to the villagers' stories, understanding the pain and fear that gripped their hearts. With a gentle smile, they began to share their knowledge of the healing properties of the forest's treasures. They showed the villagers how to prepare soothing teas from the leaves, which brought relief to those suffering from ailments. They taught them about the power of certain berries and herbs that could cure common illnesses. The villagers were amazed by the forest's magic, grateful for the king and queen's kindness and generosity. Slowly, 
hope returned to the village, and the healing touch of the forbidden forest began to work wonders. As days turned into weeks, Alex and Alicia continued to visit the village, tending to the sick and sharing the forest's remedies. With each passing day, more and more villagers found comfort and healing, and the village blossomed with newfound vitality. But it wasn't just physical ailments that Alex and Alicia tended to. They also listened to the villagers' worries and fears, offering words of encouragement and wisdom. Their compassion and understanding uplifted the spirits of all who sought their aid. Soon, news of the miraculous healing spread far and wide, and people from distant lands flocked to the village. Alex and Alicia welcomed them all, their hearts open to those in need. Their healing mission became a legacy, a symbol of love and unity between humans and nature. The Forbidden Forest became a beacon of hope for the sick and the weary, a sanctuary where nature's wonders brought comfort and restoration. As the years passed, the village thrived under the king and queen's gentle rule, and the magical forest flourished in harmony with its people. The healing touch of Alex and Alicia's love, combined with the enchantment of the Forbidden Forest, created a legacy that would forever remain in the hearts of those they touched. And so the tale of Alex and Alicia, the king and queen of the Forbidden Forest, continued, inspiring generations with their love, compassion, and commitment to the well-being of others. Their magical bond and the wonders of the forest lived on, a testament to the enduring power of love, kindness, and the healing touch of nature's embrace. They lived happily ever after,